In this Astro Pictionary Math problem, we want to calculate the energy released in the PP fusion chain, otherwise known as the proton-proton fusion chain. Let's take a quick look at the proton-proton fusion chain. We start out with two protons, and where we see these like bomb, those are meaning nuclear fusions, and you're going to kick out a neutrino, and you're going to kick out a positron. So eventually you're going to start out with four protons, and eventually you're going to end up with one helium-4 nucleus. We're given four protons that are ultimately used to generate one helium-4 nucleus, and we know that each proton mass is 1.6726 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, and one helium-4 mass is 6.645 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. We're also given the speed of light is exactly equal to 299742 Four, five, eight meters per second. We want to find the fusion energy released in process in units of joules, and we will then compare the energy to that released in one 100 watt light bulb in one second. So we're going to use the equation of Einstein's famous equation of E equals mc squared. So let's take a look at this. So we're going to start out with four hydrogen atoms. So we want to know what the mass of the four hydrogen atom is. So we have four hydrogen which is four times the mass of one of the hydrogen atoms, which is 1.6726 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So let's go multiply this out. So we need four. So we have four, and we multiply it by 1.6726, 1.6726 EE minus 27 kilograms. 27, 4.1726, we got it, and we get 6.690, 6.690, times 10 to the minus 27. And to the, let's confirm, 10 to the minus 27. And we see that our 6.69 is greater than 6.64. So we start out with four hydrogen atoms, which has more mass than what we end up with, which is one helium atom. So we lost mass in the process, and that mass is going to be used to be converted into energy by Einstein's famous formula. So we need to find out that change in mass. So we're going to subtract off four hydrogen atoms, subtract off one helium, and we're going to subtract this one minus this one to get our result. We call that a delta M. So four hydrogen minus one helium. So let's take 6.6904 times 10 to the minus 27th minus 6.645. So we subtract off 6.645 EE minus 20 seventh on my Google calculator, and we get 4.59 times 10 to the minus 29th. So we get 4.59, and then we have one, two, three, four digits afterwards, so I'm going to add two zeros, times 10 to the minus 29th kilograms. That is our change in mass. From what we started with, subtracting off of what we end up with, we have this much mass that's being used to convert into energy. So we need to multiply this out. We're going to find the change in energy is equal to the change in mass times c squared using Einstein's famous formula. So we're going to have, put our number down in here, 4.5900. Zero, zero. 10 to the minus 29th times it by 299-742-458. So we have, let's confirm that's in there, 4.59 e to the minus 29th. We want to multiply it in a parentheses because we need to square something. So 299-742, 299-742. 242 and our last three digits are 458, 458, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we got it. 
x to the y square it, and we need to close the parentheses. So there's our delta n, here's our c squared. Our end result is 4.08 times 10 to the minus 12. So we're going to end up with 4.08, and I'll add the two zeros afterwards, times 10 to the minus 12. Confirm it. 4.078.078. So the 9 kicks this one up to a 9. So it's 0790. 0790. So let's erase some of this. And write that in again. 0790 times 10 to the minus 12, and let's take a look at our units. We have a kilogram that transfers down, and we got a meter squared, so I put two meters out there, meter, meter, and then we got a second squared, so I put the second squared below. This quantity of units, a kilogram meter per second squared, is called a newton, and a newton times a meter is just a joule. So that's how we get the units of joule. So our answer is going to be 4.07, Nine zero times ten to the minus twelve joules. Now that's a very small amount of joules per one single reaction, but inside the core of the sun, there is many many reactions going on at the same time. So this is the answer to part A. There's A. So let's look at B. So B has a 100 watt light bulb. So we've just got one light bulb. So we just have our one light bulb in there. And it's all lit. And it is a 100 watt light bulb. One hundred watts. Well our one hundred watt light bulb is the same thing as saying 100 joules per second. Because one watt is one joule emitted or absorbed in one second. In this case, we're emitting it because it's a light bulb. We want to know, compare the energy released in one 100 watt light bulb in one second. So our time constant is one second. So delta E in this case is equal to 100 joules per second multiplied by one second, which is just going to give us 100 joules. So if I compare them, so I'm going to take my light bulb, the energy released by my light bulb, and I'm going to divide it by the energy released by the sun from one hydrogen atom. So I'll just put a sun here. Is one hydrogen atom, uh, four hydrogen atoms being converted into one helium atom. So we have 100 joules on the top. And we're going to divide this by 4.079. Nine zero times ten to the minus twelve joules, and then we need to cross out like units. So I take my red pen and I cross out joules and joules, and I'm going to get a unitless number. And let's be clear here. So I'm going to say four protons being converted into one helium helium nucleus, just one. And this is going to equal, and now we need to divide 100 by this 4.079 times 10 to the minus 12. Well, we already have this 4.079 times 10 to the minus 12, so let's divide it by 100. We're doing the inverse problem. 
Now that I got my answer, I'm going to hit x to the y minus 1, and it'll give me the correct answer of 2.4515 times 10 to the 13th. 2.45. I'm 10 to the 13. So the 100 watt light bulb is, lit is emitting 10 to the 13th times more energy than converting one, four hydrogen atoms into one helium atom.